Yes, but hang on, the Ministry of Electronics and IT has released a report on India's AI program after deliberations with six working groups over four months. The report outlines a roadmap for India's AI and robotics sector. Ashmit, you've been tracking this development too. Tell us more about that. Well, the government's focus is clearly on using AI as an enabler and towards that end, the Ministry of Electronics and IT has released a report called the India AI Program. What it does is essentially lays out a roadmap for development of AI within India for Indian use cases. Uh, not just that, as a subset of that roadmap, uh, a consultation paper on the national robotics policy has also been released. Uh, this is where the government has invited comments from the industry on Industry uh, 4.0 as well as uh, the national robotics policy. Now, what uh, do these reports uh, seek to do? Well, the idea is to develop AI use cases specific uh, to the Indian cost context, specific to the Indian industry. Uh, it is not so much about generative AI as is about uh, how the AI technology can be harnessed uh, for Indian use cases. Uh, the government hopes that this can be used as an enabler for achieving the $1 trillion target. Uh, now, what does this report entail? What are the subsets of this uh, report? Well, uh, number one, uh, what this report seeks to do is to develop uh, an anonymized uh, data set which will uh, then be used to train AI models across various parameters. That is one of the key uh, focus areas of this report. The other is uh, development of an AI compute system. Uh, this will help uh, develop and harness uh, GPU capacity within the country. Uh, not just that, there is also the focus of the government on developing India AI chips. This again uh, will cause towards a bias in favor of AI technologies uh, in terms of how they can be harnessed and used in the Indian context. All right, Ashmit, thank you for those details. Appreciate you.